This is <clears throat> Daniel 9 and the decree, the time of the decree, that attack and then a decree that's going to be made to restore Jerusalem. And then you have your beginning of your 14 years. So it turns out, brothers and sisters, the 14 years don't begin at the Feast of Weeks. The 50 days begin at the Feast of Weeks. The 14 years will not begin till after the commandment to restore and to rebuild Jerusalem. And if you remember this, the Leah and Rachel that we were talking about, right? The old before the new. <clears throat> it's something we shared on in relation to the wheat harvest. Okay, spring wheat is sown in the spring and harvested in the fall. Winter wheat is sown in the fall, lives through winter and is harvested in the summer. So it's late spring, summer, because it's connected to the Feast of Weeks. And if you remember this, we shared on this a number of times or a couple of few times over the years. There are two wheat harvests that were in Israel. And they've counted them wrong. Remember what we said? Everybody always combines everything together and just says there was one. No, there are two. There is spring wheat. And the spring wheat, brothers and sisters, which is planted in the spring, okay? The spring wheat is planted in the spring. By the time it's reaching full maturity, it's late summer to fall. When winter wheat, where is winter wheat? When winter wheat, wherever it is, is planted, there it is. And when winter wheat is planted, it's planted in, we'll say this is 2022. It's planted in very late fall, okay? Maybe early winter, but very late fall. And it's harvested at the time frame of the feast of weeks late spring to early summer winter wheat is called old wheat is called firstborn old wheat like leah was and rachel is called new wheat or the younger one the old wheat when it is harvested at the time frame of the feast of weeks <coughs> It can be used right away, okay? So it was planted in late 2022, and at the Feast of Weeks, it's harvested, and that first fruits of the wheat harvest can be used right away. There's no delay to it. But then there's what? Well, then there's the younger. So what about the Rachel? Well, for Rachel, what happens? He has to serve, what, seven more years, it says, right? He gets her after the week, but he still has to serve before there's any children or anything that comes about, right? <clears throat> so what happens in relation to wheat? Well, the spring wheat, which was planted in early spring, isn't ready until late fall, early summer. But they're not back-to-back -back in the prophetic understanding of them. They're the difference between Leah and Rachel. And what happens is this spring wheat is a representation of the harvest of the great multitude in the seventh year of seals. And what's going to happen is it's going to be ready to harvest in late summer, early fall, which is what? Pentecost. It will be ready to harvest at the time of Pentecost. And when it's harvested, it's not all ready to use yet. When you read about it, <clears throat> it's the difference between Kadosh and what's the other one? Yoshan, where is it? It's Kadosh and Yoshan. Uh, harvest passage on. Winter wheat, grain, old grain. Where's that other? Oh, there it is. So Kadosh and Yoshan. Okay. So Kadosh 
is the leia first fruits of the wheat harvest the winter wheat the old wheat planted in the winter harvested in at the feast of weeks it's called kadosh and it can be used right away okay uh then you have yoshal after the second day of passover okay where is that <clears throat> one of these grains miss grain so here it is is forbidden kadosh grain so i what you find out is that the the winter wheat the leia wheat the first fruits of the wheat harvest that is harvested at the time of the feast of weeks can be used right away it is called old wheat it is considered old wheat you see that it's considered old wheat the spring wheat when it is harvested at the time of pentecost is called new wheat or new grain and when it is harvested okay when the rapture for that time comes it takes where it cannot be used okay so it's like the lord think of it this way when the lord returns at the end of the six years of seals okay and the 14 years begins at the time around true pentecost uh, uh, yeah true pentecost and you have the six years come when the six years of seals are over and it's around the time frame of pentecost from when the 14 years started then it's the time of the harvest of the new wheat but the new wheat cannot be used until the second day of passover the following year until once the second day of passover in the following year comes it's now considered old grain and it can now be used this is why and we've taught on this in the past this is why in in ezekiel 39 that everybody talks about the ezekiel 39 war it says that for seven months they're going to be burying them and cleansing the land because after the ezekiel 39 war and you get to revelation 7 the 144,000 are sealed and then you have the rapture of the great multitude it's about six months into the seventh year even though the lord came the year before at about pentecost after six years of seals and they're being brought in their time of when it's all brought in when the complete rapture is done and they can go in will take about seven months and that seven months would bring them to what you guessed it passover of that seventh year of seals you see that this is something we have taught on this is something we have 